Russia has spotted some of North Korea's largest long-range self-propelled guns. This may indicate that the DPRK is now supplying Moscow not only with ammunition and manpower, but also with artillery. Thus, on Thursday, November the 14th, photos of two 170mm M1989 Koksan self-propelled howitzers of North Korean manufacture appeared online. They were on a railway platform travelling through Krasnoyarsk. There are two possible explanations for this situation, writes Forbes. First, a North Korean artillery unit would deploy to the front lines in Western Russia or Ukraine. Second, a Russian unit would operate tracked howitzers, which are manned by four people and can fire shells weighing 100 pounds or more at least 25 miles or 40 kilometers. The latter makes more sense, the article says. The Kremlin is currently distributing North Korean troops to existing units of the Russian armed forces. Soldiers from North Korea are already present in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. But to continue military operations in Ukraine, Russia needs not only foreign troops but also foreign equipment. The Russian military's artillery stockpiles are declining at least as fast as its tanks and combat vehicles. Earlier this year, a survey of Russian depots counted 3,000 self-propelled howitzers down from 4,500 in 2021 and most of those 3,000 guns are likely too corroded to be of any use. Russian artillerymen would certainly welcome a few shipments of North Korean M1989s. They are roughly equivalent to Russia's largest tracked howitzers, the 2S7. As of 2022, the Russians had about 300 2S7s in service or storage. A tenth of them were disabled or captured in combat, and many of those in storage are beyond repair after decades of being exposed to the elements. The problem from the Russians' perspective is ammunition, the author emphasizes. It is noted that the M1989 is the only widest used 170mm howitzer. Only the DPRK industry produces ammunition for it. Russia has established domestic production of ammunition for most calibers, but in the case of the M1989, this is impossible. Therefore, whether they will be used depends directly on Pyongyang. Logistics have always been weak in the Russian army, and the delivered howitzers may run out of shells at some point, says Estonian soldier and analyst Artur Rehi. Such deliveries are further evidence that Russia is increasingly dependent on its allies in a full-scale war against Ukraine. The M1989 Koksan is a North Korean self-propelled artillery unit with a caliber of 170 mm. According to open sources, the firing range depends on the type of shells. Thus, with conventional shells, it is about 40 kilometers, and with rockets, up to 60 kilometers.
Soldiers have rioted in a military unit in the town of Kochenivo, Novosibirsk region of Russia. The reason for this is that the soldiers are unable to receive the necessary medical care and are being prepared to be sent to war in Ukraine. The soldiers, who complain that the situation in the military unit is unbearable, also said that they do not want to return to the war. This was reported by Russian telegram channels. The soldiers destroyed the barracks where they were staying and broke the windows. Later, 12 soldiers left the military unit on their own. Most of them were detained and returned after a while. Bon. 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 